Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So uh, in this video I'm going to be teaching all of you how to make a C4 in Roblox Studio. So like basically though it's going to go, you have the C4, you click, it drops on the ground and then when you click again it explodes. Mm -hmm. Okay so uh, let's start it. First uh, we have to make a small C4 thing. Just saying I am not very good at building. Okay, for the record, I just suck at building. Okay, so uh, we'll just do this, I guess. And then, like, we need that blue screen if I'm right. I don't know how to make one. Okay, we'll go like this, this, and then up like this, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, no. Okay, we'll go here. Okay, yeah, good enough. Cyan, and then let's make a neon. Okay. And then, what else? Wait, show me what a C4 looks like. C4. Yeah, I'm not making that. Okay. <laughs> My guy went full sweaty mode on that. Okay, and then we'll just make a, like a few dark lines, I guess. Okay, so we will go like this, and then like this. No, but then shift point one. Yeah, okay. And then we'll make it a darker shade of gray. We'll go down. Okay, there. Okay. And then now we'll just go like this, I guess. Good enough, okay? And then now we're just gonna need like... And then let's just have like the the tiny like neon red thing, if I'm right. Okay. Okay, there. Good enough! Okay, we'll, we'll say that's good enough, okay? So, uh, now we have this. Okay, so, now if we want to make this a tool, we're going to have to remove all the welds. Okay, and then now, uh, let's create, let's have a tool, okay? Let's create into this, into a mesh part, I think. Instead of a model. Okay, wait. I think we're better for, yeah, so let's uh, just model and union this. Okay, yeah, this is good. Okay, yeah, this is good enough. No, don't anchor it. Why do I feel like this is so insanely big? We'll make it a bit smaller. Yeah, that's actually good. Whoa, wait. It's... Wait, we have to change the material. Undo. Okay. Let's just change... Oh, okay. Oh, what happened here? Oops. What happened there? Okay. Let's just change every single material to smooth plastic. And uh, let's union that. And let's make it smaller. Okay, we're just better off doing this. Okay. Now that we have that unioned, we can put it into here, and we'll call this C4. Now using Tool Grip Editor, right here, uh, let's select a tool, this, oh uh, yeah, this has to be called Handle, I forgot. Okay, so now select this, now we're going to edit the grip, I'll leave a link to the, the thing in the description, it's like 5 Robux. Hmm. Nope, okay, yeah. it will work. And then... Okay, good enough, okay? Okay, look, so now we have our tool. Now let's take this, we're gonna p call this C4, and we're gonna put it into server storage, okay? Well, first we're gonna have to uh, get like... Okay, let's have a C4. 
deep okay taking okay explosive timer reactor explosion timer destroyed bruh timer okay okay timer tick okay point one now bruh Okay. Good enough. Okay. Now we have our C4 tick. Okay. And then now we need a placement sound. Look at this. He throws a. No. Look at that leap ball placement. That's a leap. Oh, right, let's just do a quip. Yeah, this is good. Equip one. Let's put this into the C4. Okay. Okay. Good enough. Okay. So now this C4 is going to go into server storage, okay? And then in workspace, we're going to have to create a folder. And let's just call this uh, C4s, okay? So now let's create a local script, okay? So now we're going to do, and then let's just call this C4 client. Let's also insert a remote event called uh, C4 remote and then this is going to be now that we'll create the server script later okay so c4 client we're going to do script dot pair dot activated connect function or let's just use locals local tool equals to script dot parent tool dot activated connect function and then let's also just do a move equip one into c4 client okay okay then we're also just going to do local remote event equals to tool dot re dot uh, c4 remote so now and then uh, local c4 folder equals to workspace dot c4s okay so tool dot activate connect function so we're gonna do uh, we're gonna have also debounce debounce equals to true okay so we're gonna do if debounce equals equals to true then debounce equals to false Okay, now we're going to do uh, if C4 folder find first child, uh, let's see, game.players.localplayer.name. Okay, so basically what I'm doing here is that when the C4 is placed, it's going to be placed into the C4 folder under the player's name. Okay, so like it knows which, which is which. Okay, so if C4 folder find first child, then, okay. No, if not, then local c4 equals to game.servicestorage.c4 clone, okay? c4.parent equals to, equals to uh, c4 folder, and then c4.name equals to, wait, let's do this the other way around, c4.name equals to game dot player so local player dot name okay so c4 dot parent equals the c4 folder okay we got the name done okay so now we're gonna uh oh yeah also in the c4 thing we're also gonna need a c4 explosion yeah i think this one's better okay and this one so So okay, and then uh, c4 dot tick play, okay. Okay, c4 dot tick play, and also this, uh, both of the c4s. Uh, wait. Never mind. Uh, in the in the uh, c4 tool, make the handle can collide false. Okay. So c4 dot tick play. So it's gonna just go like this. Okay. So now we're gonna do else, okay? So now if they find something that's game dot player's local player the name, 
then game dot no no not replicate that then remote event fire server. So then it's gonna fire and then after here then we're just gonna do uh wait one debalance equals to true, okay? Oh yeah, also also here, so uh, local c4 equals the game that's okay. So we're also gonna have to do uh, c4 dot position. So after the parent, so we're gonna do uh, c4 dot position equals to game dot players the local player dot character dot humanoid root part dot position. Okay. So now else remote event fire server. So now we're just gonna have a script here. And we're going to call this C4 server. So now, nope, that's server. Server. So we're going to do uh, local tool equals to script.parent, local C4 remote, local remote equals to script.parent, no, equals to tool.c4 remote. And then a uh, local C4 folder equals to workspace dot C4s. Okay. Oh yeah, we have a problem right here. So uh, this is supposed to, so crap. I forgot. This is supposed to be server sided. I'm so stupid. Okay. So uh, this is gonna be remote event fire server place and then this is going to be remote fire server activate okay so but all the thing that the only thing that's going to happen local equals to script dot equip one play okay so then we're just going to take this and this is going to be c4 server so now we're going to do remote dot on server event connect function player and then uh let's do what to do okay so we're going to do uh, if what to do equals to equals equals to uh, place then local c4 equals all of this and then instead of uh, game dot players it's going to be player dot character and then it's going to be player dot name okay oh yeah and uh, just for a check c4 folder and not c4 folder find first child uh, player dot name okay so now we're, now here we're gonna do else okay else uh, else if what what to do equals equals to activate and c4 folder find first child player dot name then then okay c4 fold so c uh, local c4 equals to c4 folder find first child player dot name now we're gonna do c4 dot activate no c4 <coughs> sorry about this <sighs> what are we doing c4 dot c4 explosion sound Let's just do explode. Let's name. The, let's rename this to explode. C4 dot explode. Play. Then we're gonna do wait point one. Local explosion equals to instance. Instance dot new explosion. Explosion dot position equals to player dot character. No equals to uh. C4 dot position and then explosion dot parent equals to C4 and then wait for C4 destroy and I think that is it so let's just put this into starter pack and see if it works Okay, we have the C4. Click. What's wrong? C4 remote 
is not what is this the C4 remote is right there hello let's just do that let's Please tell me no errors. Yes, it is. What is this? Okay, I'll just do a wait for a child. Tool. This is so annoying. Wait for child. C4 remote. There. See, only the client is screwing it up. Don't tell me it's going to say infinite yield possible. Okay, no errors. Click. Okay. Now if I click again. That worked! Okay, wait. So, so now let's see, I put it there, okay? Okay, wait. And then, it works, as you can see. I think uh, what would work is that if we were a can climb false, but then it would go through the thing. So if like you were to jump, and then oh wait, that worked. Okay, so as you can see, guys, it worked. Uh, something I would do to the C4 server. Uh, we'll do plus vector three dot new, a one comma zero comma zero, so it doesn't like just <laughs> okay. And then also uh, in the server, uh, on the C4 server, uh, C4 dot uh, tick pause. Now I think it will work a bit better. Okay, let's see. It's kind of like a cool tool, not gonna lie. Okay. Okay. And then. Easy. That actually went really good. Not gonna lie. See. What was that? Does it just keep exploding in the sky? And then. I think the C4 should explode. Uh, just go away instantly. Because... Okay, wait. So it explodes. C4 dot transparency equals to one. C4 dot can collide equals to false. Okay. And then uh, C4 dot name equals to already exploded. So the player can plant another one. Okay, I think that would be better. Okay, so C4. Okay. Yup, works. And then. Easy. Okay, that worked really good. So, uh, this thing is gonna be uh, in a model in the description. And uh, so, that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like subscribe and turn on notifications bye